Ah, the age-old dilemma. Should you skip breakfast or dinner if you want to be healthy, fit, and slightly smug at brunch? Well, let's unpack the drama because your metabolism is not just some passive calorie calculator. It's more like a hormonal soap opera that's very sensitive to meal timing. For years, breakfast was the golden child of nutrition. Doctors, moms, and cereal companies alike sang its praises. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, they shouted. Then came the rise of intermittent fasting and suddenly breakfast was the villain. Like, sorry eggs and toast, we're doing bulletproof coffee now. But let's look at the science, shall we? Skipping breakfast does not, in fact, make you a fasting guru. What it does is throw your body into a hormonal tailspin. Your insulin, aka the hormone that regulates blood sugar, goes haywire. Insulin is like the traffic cop of your metabolism. It helps your cells absorb glucose from your bloodstream. When you skip breakfast, your post-lunch insulin response is higher. That means your body is working harder to manage blood sugar, which can lead to insulin resistance over time. Not good. Now enter GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide-1. This little guy is a hormone released in the gut when you eat, and it boosts insulin secretion, inhibits glucagon, which raises blood sugar, and makes you feel full. Think of GLP-1 as your metabolic butler, serving up insulin when needed, quieting down glucagon, and whispering sweet satiety nothings to your brain. Studies show that eating a hearty breakfast boosts GLP-1 levels throughout the day. Skipping breakfast? GLP-1 levels stay meh, and you're hungrier, crankier, and more likely to eat like a raccoon at midnight. GLP-1 has gained celebrity status recently thanks to a group of medications that mimic its effects. Semaglutide-based drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy. Originally developed for managing type 2 diabetes, these drugs help with blood sugar control and also reduce appetite, leading to weight loss. Why? Because they essentially supercharge the effects of natural GLP-1. People on these meds feel fuller faster, eat less, and have more stable blood sugar levels. But here's the kicker. Your body can increase GLP-1 naturally with, surprise, surprise, a solid breakfast. So while semaglutide is the new star of pharmaceutical weight loss, your morning omelet might be the OG GLP-1 booster. Observational studies and controlled trials consistently show that skipping breakfast leads to higher post-meal glucose spikes, increased hunger, and elevated free fatty acids in the blood, markers linked to higher risks of type 2 diabetes and belly fat accumulation. And no, we're not talking about the cute kind of belly fat that makes you cuddly. We're talking about visceral fat, the kind that wraps around your organs and whispers dark secrets to your pancreas. Conversely, shifting most of your calories to earlier in the day, like a big breakfast, May lunch, and tiny dinner, actually aligns better with your circadian rhythm. Yes, your body has a clock. And guess what? That clock doesn't want lasagna at 10 p.m. It wants rest, not a car break. A crossover study involving healthy adults showed that skipping dinner resulted in lower post-lunch insulin and glucose spikes compared to skipping breakfast. Translation? Better insulin sensitivity and glucose control. Another intervention study revealed that people who ate a high-calorie breakfast and a light dinner had lower HbA1c levels, a marker for blood sugar control, and even lost weight. Breakfast isn't just a meal, it's your metabolic wingman. Eating a protein-rich breakfast also leads to better appetite control and reduced hunger hormones like ghrelin. Protein, unlike carbs, has a much stronger impact on satiety signals. It not only keeps you full longer, but also triggers a more favorable hormonal cascade. Ghrelin, often dubbed the hunger hormone, gets significantly suppressed when your morning meal is rich in protein. That means fewer cravings, especially for sugary or high-fat snacks later in the day. In studies with overweight teens, the ultimate junk food connoisseurs, those who started their day with a protein-heavy breakfast, think eggs, Greek yogurt, or tofu, reported fewer cravings, more stable energy, and better hormonal satiety responses throughout the day. Compare that to a carb-heavy breakfast like sugary cereal or pastries, which spike your blood sugar and leave you crashing and ravenous by 10 a.m. Even organizations like the American Heart Association agree, people who eat breakfast regularly have a lower risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Meal timing matters, folks. Your metabolism is not just about what you eat, but when you eat it. So, is skipping dinner healthier than skipping breakfast? According to science, yes. Your body prefers to fuel up early and wind down light. Skipping dinner syncs better with your natural rhythms and supports better metabolic function. Moral of the story, have your eggs, your oats, your tofu scramble, and skip the sugary cereal, the pancake stacks drowned in syrup, and the orange juice that's basically dessert in a glass. Go for the real breakfast heroes. Eggs, and yes, even bacon if you're feeling cheeky. Just maybe don't follow it with a midnight pizza.
If you like this science-backed journey through your digestive system, smash that like button like it's a sizzling skillet of eggs, subscribe to the debunkers for more truth bombs, and drop a comment below with your favorite protein-packed breakfast. Omelets over OJ, people. So rise and shine with something hearty and protein-packed, and let your hormones thank you later. Until next time, stay curious and stay full.